Hi everybody, we're here in downtown Largo, Florida at our brick and mortar store. We're here to answer some questions. Who am I? I am Chris Arbertine. I am a part owner of a family business that has been in operation since 1972. I've worked here full time since I was 18 years old. I am 52, so I have quite a bit of experience of buying, selling, and appraising. I have a lot of people that ask a lot of questions, so I've decided to make these videos to answer questions. So let's get to it. Let's get right to answering questions right now. Another question I get all the time from my customers is, where do I sell my estate jewelry? Where's the best place to sell my coins, my gold, my valuables, my diamonds? Well, let's get to that. I always say an independent jewelry store or a coin store, well, we happen to be both, so I might sound a little biased, but ever since 1979, when gold went up to $850 and silver went up to $50, there was no place to sell your items. The only place you could go was a pawn shop and get maybe 20 cents on the dollar. Well, to fill the void of people that wanted to sell their items, coin dealers picked up, independent jewelers picked up that spot, picked up that slack, and they started actively trading. They started buying estates, diamonds, watches, gold, jewelry. They basically started paying anywhere from, at that time, I would say 50 cents to 75 cents on the dollar. It's a lot more competitive now. Now we're paying anywhere from 80 to 90 cents on the dollar, and we're trying to make that profit that we can in that 10 to 20% range. There's a lot of other places you can sell items. I, I'm not going to skip out and not tell you. You can go to auctions. There's online auctions. There's national auctions and there's local auctions. Local auctions would be a great place to sell sets of China, bulky items that you don't want to have to ship. National auctions such as the bigger auction houses, they're all very busy right now. And the last time I tried to sell something to a national auction, it was they stuck a piece of silver in the Americana auction. It was an item that was very expensive, but it didn't garner any money because it was in the wrong auction. So these national auctions are extremely busy and they don't segment it like they used to. So I think they've lost a little oomph in my opinion. Again, online, you can try that, but you're selling to a nameless, faceless person. If you get stuck, you're stuck. Um, pawn shops, you know, you can go to a pawn shop, but again, you're gonna get that 25 to 50 cents on the dollar. Maybe a little bit more if you're lucky, if it's a bigger store. Flea markets, of course, flea markets are more for your basic items, things that have very little value. So you take that to the flea market, but you don't take your valuables to the flea market. And of course, there's things like buy, sell, trade now, there's Craigslist. These are, these are places that you can take your items, try to sell them, but then you have to meet people. And again, you're meeting people that you don't know. It's not necessarily a safe or unsafe environment, but it's certainly an a uncertain environment. So basically, feel free to call or text with anything that you have a question about and any questions you have that you think you want to sell something you're not sure where to sell it, I'd be glad to point you in the right direction. Thank you for listening. Thank you everybody for watching today. It's, we went through quite a bit of information. So if you do have any additional questions about what you saw, feel free to call, text, or email. And also, if you have a special item that you're trying to determine the value or possibly liquidate, that's what we're here for. Send me a picture. Send me dimensions, and I'll do the best I can to help you determine the value. If I can't buy it, I'll try to put you in the right direction. So again, thank you very much for tuning in today. Have a great day.